Hi friends, it's snack time and in the food segment, I am going to go to Love Meridian Hotel like to have some of the amazing snack delights here. So, I have a very very special person with me. He is the executive sous chef of Love Meridian Hotel, Mr. Chandra Banu. Hi Mr. Chandra Banu, how are you? Very good. So chef, how are you welcome drink? How are you welcome drink? We are serving mango meli meli. Sounds good, mango meli meli. Now, in mango meli meli, Obviously, the main ingredient is mango. We add coconut milk to the coconut milk. Oh, that's very different, right? Mango and coconut milk. Coconut milk, condensed milk and mango puree. Mango puree. Oh, that's nice. So, that's the mango puree. It also has coconut milk and that makes it really, really yummy. So, time for me to taste mango milly milly. Refreshing and really nice. Especially mango ishtapadanarku would love this and this is really yummy but idhan ubiri it's really nutritious karna dhan aathu mango ullu dhan it's really good for your skin karna mango is really really good for your skin especially for glowing skin and all that mango is really good idhan akku ubiri it has a lot of vitamin C as well as iron and especially kutti alku maanga valana nala dhan akkar thamada memory power akku increase yana to mango really helps so this is a very refreshing drink a must have here at Le Meridian. So chef, what's next in the menu? Next we'll have a starter. Okay. It's the braised chili fish. What fish are fish in this? We are using the sea bass. This fish will toss the sauce into the sauce. Outside of the fish will be crispy mm. and inside will be subtle and soft. This sea bass is not a fish. It's basically one of the largest family of fish in the world. And it is actually valued for its white and firm flesh. So chef, what are we waiting for? Let's try. Looks very colourful to me. Nice mm. spicy, plus the best part it's really crunchy and really delicious. Chef, any key preparation while I to put especially snack time like a kai camp at your vibo man other and any key thong in order to come to dinner time or like lunch time or appetizer right to them could the kai camp better definitely and children will also love it love to have this so what is next next is we have a chicken kati roll okay so let's go about it the rush shower my preparation for land la shower my preparation for the niana but she didn't appear chicken kati roll Chicken kati roll itu lalu, nama kita tandoori chicken tikka, kati itu pes, itu ada orang masala itu kita cerita tu, satu paratha bread itu lalu rolling, and it is a meal by itself as well as it is a snack item. So this is chicken kati roll. Apo ini chicken kati roll especially snack time laka kari kaya pachiru vibhav mana, and the best part about chicken kati roll is it is filling by itself. Ini kari kaya ni, you really feel full and you don't feel like eating anything else. Time for me to taste chicken kati roll. It's very soft, very nice. A bit spicy, but it's really good. And it's a perfect snack item. And if you're going to eat this, you're going to really love this preparation. So, this chicken kati roll is a filling roll. And it tastes really good with mint chutney. So chef, I'm feeling really full now. What are you serving me in the end? Next we'll have after a heavy meal. Uh -huh. It's always better to have a coffee. So let's have Illy coffee. And that's what is served to me. And Illy coffee is basically an Italian coffee. Coffee has caffeine. But uh, caffeine is has a mild stimulant effect. And this mild stimulant effect in Uberi, it, it helps to elevate the neural activity of the brain. If you're drinking coffee, yes, it's gone and then you're ready to go. This is a cappuccino mm -hmm. and this is an espresso. espresso. Two different varieties of the same coffee. Same Illy coffee, right? So chef, what is this biscotti? Biscotti is basically a biscuit. Mm -hmm. Biscotti means it's baked twice. Twice, yes. Twice baked. Mm -hmm. As it is, when you make the biscotti dough, you make it, cook it in the oven in a big loaf 
and then you cut it into the shape that you want and you bake it again. Bake it again. So that's how the biscotti comes. Bake biscotti pies. is basically Italian and Southern and the the biscotti di prati, prato. It's an Italian origin. Italy, Italy is the prato and that is where this is originated from. Mind blowing coffee, and isn't it a perfect combination? Either you can have the biscotti, and I really love this illy preparation. So, thanks a lot Thank for you. this snack preparation, it was really a delight having it. Thank you. We have something very, very exclusive for you, and that is a spread, an authentic Kerala cuisine spread, especially in the middle of Vembanad Lake. In the food segment, we have a houseboat preparation. Beautiful, extensive Kerala cuisine. This is a special thing. So let's meet our host for today, Mr. Erin. Hi, Mr. Erin. I'm good. How are you? As always. I'm sure you're also loving the ambience just like me. And thanks a lot for setting up such a beautiful ambience. So, what is the speciality? We have a houseboat crew. We have a menu here. And we have fish uh, already here. We have a fish already here. We have a fish already here. And then followed by uh, curry and then a prawn mango curry and pavakya ulli teal and then vellerikya pulisheri and uh, then I can see kandimangi and I'm sure we're going to relish everything. I'm sure. And uh, feel good about it. Definitely. So let's start with the uh, fish moili. Now you try how it tastes. For sure, I'm waiting for that. Mmm, splendid. Very different preparation and as you all know, fish is very good for the body. Because omega-3 fatty acids it also helps in blood clotting, prevents blood clotting as well as it provides a lot of immunity to the body. Am I right? Very true. We people are lucky because we have uh, two lakes in Kerala giving us uh, freshwater fishes and there's a, I mean, there's a widespread and variety of uh, you know, uh, water fish is available here. What is the See, what is it? I'll start serving you rice now. I'll start serving you rice now. I have a beautiful spread right in front of me, so it's time for me to start. Okay, let me taste this, which smells really good. Prawn and mango curry. Spicy, yummy. Coconut taste is nice. And uh, our raw mango in there. Mm. That know. gives a tangy yeah. feel to the entire cuisine. This is very nutritious as well, isn't it? See, this particular dish, we prepare it for two hours. 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 We Chorlende gorada kadi kena preparation zaman, nama kita kau, nama kita Mumbai lola. Malayali gal, eprim chora ada patah nerita tanah teriak. Apa Malayali gal lori kelim, ini, urubakshe chicken fish juga kadi kima jelah preparation sile chodun dagam. Ada lengan chorna ana chod. Chorna ana nama kita baki lani complement ini. So that way, if you keep this for some more time, it's going to taste much much better. I'm sure it is. But before that, let me tell you a little bit about the nutritious value. This is a very nutritious taste. It is very nutritious. Because we have a lot of vitamin B12. Apart from that, mango has a lot of vitamin C, which makes it a perfect, perfect food in your diet. Mmm. Adi boli. This is very delicious. This is a very delicious taste. It is a very delicious taste. I want to know more about this preparation. Pulisheri, we have a lot of normal items in the lab. The only difference is that Pulisheri is made in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. There is a tempering. We have a lot of light items in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. We have a lot of light items in the lab. Pine, ini pawai kita kaya ini barang dulu. Any vegetable that is bitter, any fruit that is bitter is good for the body. You are very right. 
കുക്കിംബറിൽ ധാരാളം വാട്ടർ ഉണ്ട് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഡിസ്റ്റിൽഡ് വാട്ടർ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഗുഡ് ഫോർ ദ ബോഡി ഇത് കൂടാതെ കുക്കിംബറിൽ ധാരാളം പെഫിക് ആസിഡ് പെഫിക് ആസിഡ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ ഫേഷ്യലിനൊക്കെ പോകുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ കണ്ണിൽ കുക്കിംബർ വയ്ക്കും വാട്ട് ഇസ് എ റീസൺ കാരണം വാട്ടർ റിട്ടൻഷൻ അത് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യും ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ റീസൺ കുക്കിംബർ ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി വെരി ഗുഡ് ഫോർ ദ ബോഡി അടുത്ത ഞാൻ ടേസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് മധുരക്കറി It's very sweet. What do you think of this sweet taste? This is to cut a balance. We have to cut a lot of meal in a meal. That's why we have to cut a lot of meal in a meal. We have to cut a lot of meal in a meal. We have to cut a lot of meal in a meal. We have to cut a lot of meal in a meal. You take a bite of this. I just love to eat it. Thank you. 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 I really love the spread. Sweet or not? Here we have a cherry pear pie. Mmm, really nice. This cherry pear pie is actually good for the body. Now, we have two things. We have to boil this pie. This is a good thing. We are using jaggery. That makes it more healthy, isn't it? Yeah. So friends, I hope you really liked what I showed you today. So thanks a lot Mr. Erin for Thank joining you. with us Thank and you. for this beautiful experience. I really had a great time. Do come back. Definitely, for sure. And I'm sure our viewers would definitely come back to have such a beautiful and enjoyable Now we have entered the favorite Japanese restaurant, in fact one of my favorite Japanese restaurant, Tokyo Bay and to talk more about the proper Japanese ambience that's created out here and also to talk more about the Japanese cuisine, we have one of the directors and that is Ms. Rupa George with me. So hi Mrs. Rupa, how are you? Fine, thank you. A pleasure to have you on Rose Bar. Thank you so much. So I wanted to know, before we start with the food, I wanted to know, see, the ambience in this Tokyo Bay is yeah. very, very, uh, very different. Yes. It's not like this normal restaurant that you actually go to. So is there anything particular that you actually had in your mind before yeah. doing up this place? Yeah, the Japanese, actually the interiors are done in a real, traditional, authentic, a Japanese way. Uh, let's get into the first dish for yes. today. Yes, yes. And uh, I can see sushi. Sushi. Namla, Japanese cuisine paramitane first thing that comes into any layman's mind ah, is sushi. sushi. So today we have sushi. Yeah. So could you just explain to us, see, namke lar, namke ah. sushi is very healthy yeah. and maybe because it's raw, it's healthy. And it's but we, we have cooked also in the sushi. Okay, so there are two different types of sushi, sushi. that served over here. One which is raw and the other which is cooked. Yes. So we can take this wasabi paste, actually we can take in small, uh, little bit quantity only. Okay. That will be enough and we can add uh, to the soya sauce. And there is a reason why yeah, you wasabi use wasabi very strong. Very strong. Small, and quantity. Valare, valare small quantity. Use it. If you actually use it in large quantity, it gives you that pungent, pungent order or that yeah. pungent yeah, aroma. It, just goes, uh, yeah. it just goes through your nose and just hits you like right yeah, there. Yeah. So it's like small, small quantity. quantity. So yeah. yeah. And we can just uh, take the sushi with our hand only, the, like this, and okay. you just dip it, dip it fully in the soya sauce, and it just goes fully into the bowl. Yeah, completely, mm -hmm. no? Yeah. And do I eat it the same way? Yeah, yeah. It, okay. it has the Chinese cabbage, I the prawn, and the tuna. Yeah. I dip the entire thing into the mouth. Yes. Okay. Here goes sushi. Actually, you're right. Yeah. It's very it's difficult yeah. and um, it's a little difficult to actually yeah, have yeah. it. Yes, yes. Probably if it's your first time and trust yeah. me, this is my first time I'm trying out a sushi because I had this mind block. That it's raw and I should not try it out. And so maybe if I keep trying it, I might end up liking it. Yes. I see something of my interest over here. This is something yakitori. called as the chicken yakitori. yakitori. And either, um, Yakitori, yakitori means grill, grill, grill one, yes. So, how was this preparation done? This I can see a, some onions and... This is grilled chicken in yakitori sauce. Okay. Yeah. But so, in the first time, you said that the sauce is in the first time. Sauce in the first time. Sauce is in the first time. Sauce is in the first time. Okay. 
സോ കൂടുതലൊന്നും പറയാനില്ല ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ഡിഷ് അതായത് ചിക്കൻ യാക്കിറ്റോറി യാക്കിറ്റോറി വിച്ച് മീൻസ് ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗ്രിൽഡ് സോ ഗ്രിൽഡ് ചിക്കൻ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഹെൽദി ആൻഡ് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ദ ദ ഹോൾ ഫ്ലേവർ ഇസ് ഇൻ ദ സോസ് അതിൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന സോസ് ഇസ് യാക്കിറ്റോറി സോസ് ഇസ് സ്പെഷ്യലൈസ്ഡ് ജാപ്പനീസ് സോസ് വിച്ച് ഹെസ് ബീൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടഡ് സ്പെഷ്യലി ഫ്രം ജപ്പാൻ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ആഡ്സ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഒത്തൻറ്റിസിറ്റി ടു ദിസ് ഡിഷ് സോ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ സൂഷി let me yakitori, try this chicken yes. yakitori yes. ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടതിന്റെ സോസ് ആണ് അഗൈൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് വെരി സ്പൈസി ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് സ്വീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ്സ് ജസ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ദ ബ്ലെൻഡ് ഇസ് ടോട്ടലി റൈറ്റ് ഐ ലൈക് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഷുവർ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ലവ് ചിക്കൻ വുഡ് ലവ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഹെൽദി അല്ലേ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഹെൽദി സോ നൗ ചിക്കൻ ഇസ് ഓവർ ദ സൂഷി ഇസ് ഓവർ നൗ ദിസ് ഫിഷ് ഓ ഫിഷ് ഫോർ ദി സീ ഫുഡ് ലവ് സോ വാട്ട് ഫിഷ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് റൂപ്പ് സി ഓ ഫിഷ് കിങ് ഫിഷ് ഓ കിങ് ഫിഷ് ഓക്കെ നെയ് മീൻ ഇതിന്റെ പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾ സക്കാന ഇൻ ഓയിസ്റ്റർ സോസ് ഓക്കെ വിത്ത് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ക്യാപ്സിക്കം ആൻഡ് മഷ്റൂം ആൻഡ് സോസ് സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി ഹെൽത്തി പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ This is really yum. The oh. fish is so soft and the preparation the and the spices have just melted completely into the fish. Yes. It's really nice. So Rupa, yeah. What is the next that you're giving me? Next is our yakisoba noodle. Yakisoba noodle. Yakisoba noodles. Noodle. and you can make it in veg or non veg according to your choice and what rupa has served me here is It's the non veg yes. yakisoba noodles yes. and uh, because she knows i love chicken yes so <laughs> let me have it and see how it is I had like an amazing meal here at the Tokyo Bay and Rupa was like a fantastic company and she gave me some real amazing dish that I think you all should try out here at Tokyo Bay. So to try out Portuguese cuisine, I have come to this restaurant called as Fenel in Ramada Resort, Kochi. Portuguese cuisine pati kudal discuss cheyana ite. I have the right person with me, the corporate chef of Ramada Resort, Mr. Ramu Butler. Hi Mr. Ramu, how are you? You yourself is from Goa, isn't it? In fact, I'm partially Goa. So you arranged a sumptuous spread of uh, Portuguese cuisine for me. Yes. Let me start with the soup. We are going to call this soup and we are going to call it. Because it's Portuguese language, it's the meaning of the greenish broth. And this is the ingredients. That is the main ingredient, potato and spinach. So these two ingredients are all very nutritious items of soup. Because we all know that in potato there is vitamin C. And apart from this, these kidney stones are all very good. These potato are all very good. That's not true. If you want to gain weight, you want to gain weight, you want to gain weight, you want to gain weight. ഡയറ്റിൽ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് വളരെ നല്ലതാണ് ഈ സൂമോ റെസ്റ്റ്ലേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ഒക്കെ ഒരു ഡയറ്റിൽ പൊട്ടേറ്റോ ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ മെയിൻ ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് അ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് യു നോ വെയ്റ്റ് ഗെയിൻ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ഇതിൽ വേറൊരു ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻറ്റ് അതായത് സ്പിനച്ച് നമ്മുടെ ശരീരത്തിന് വളരെ നല്ലതാണ് കാരണം ഇതിൽ ധാരാളം ഫൈറ്റോ ന്യൂട്രിയൻസിന് ഉപരി ഇതിൽ ധാരാളം ഫ്ലാവനോയിഡ്സ് ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലാവനോയിഡ്സ് ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി ആക്സ് ലൈക്ക് എൻ ആൻറ്റി ക്യാൻസർ ഏജൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് റിയലി അറോമാറ്റിക് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂട്രീഷ്യസ് ആസ് വെൽ സോ ഐ ഗെസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ടൈം ഫോർ മീ ടു ടേസ്റ്റ് ദ സൂപ്പ് Mm it tastes really nice so delicious matra la this is something very nutritious which you can always include in your daily diet and the best part about this soup is that 
it gives you the complete package, the complete nutrients that your body requires, isn't it? Yes. So, Chef, what are you serving me next in the menu? Well, the next one you can go for a salad. Okay. Well, this salad is uh, an influence again by the Portuguese. Okay. The abundance of coconut in Goa. Uh -huh. So, they tried out something new with a dry prawns and coconut. So, the salad looks very colorful. So, time for me to taste the salad. Kismar salad. This is the main ingredient used in the salad is prawn and coconut. We have a Portuguese cuisine in Portugal. The coconut is a part of all the cuisine, that is uh, Portuguese cuisine. So, Chef, how is the preparation exactly of the salad? The basic ingredients for this Christmas salad are coconut, uh -huh. onions, coriander leaves and dry shrimps. Okay. These are the basic ingredients. ingredients. And bring all these dry items, it gives a distinct flavor of coconut. Coconut, yes. And the dry prawns. Mm -hmm. That is the dominant flavor which you get. So, time for me to taste the salad. Mmm, it's really nice. Karna, is a coconut and a dry shrimp in the taste of rainbow. It's superb and something you would love to have. So, Chef, how, what is the preparation of this uh, chicken vindalu like? Uh, chicken vindalu is again a preparation of the Portuguese influence, mm -hmm. which is uh, done with various meats. It can mm -hmm. be done with uh, beef, it can be done with pork, but you know, we always try to do with chicken. Chicken, okay. Because being a common dish, mm -hmm. we all try with the chicken. Chicken, okay. And it really gives the exact and you know, the authentic taste of the dish. Dish, okay. You know, the main ingredient, in the flavoring ingredient of this is because of the wine mm -hmm. which we use okay. and the spices. So it looks red and spicy. Um, generally, you eat it with rice, bread, and anything, right? Yes. So, what are you serving me with? This can be had with a couple of accompaniments which is kept on the other side. Okay, so. You know, that is called the bakri or the pav. It okay. can be had with rice as well. Okay. But it tastes much better with the Bakri so, Chef, time for chicken in Dalu. Let me serve you. Yeah. Or oh, with this. Okay. And with one of this, you can. I taste. would prefer to have it with this. Okay. okay. Mmm. Sweet as well as spicy. And I really love this preparation. Spicy dish in a desert ayala. Interesting, right? So, Chef, yes. what are you serving me for desert? I have a dish called the alabale, okay. which is again very popular in Goa. Okay. And of course, it's very nutritious. Uh -huh. It is with a pancake, okay. rice pancake with coconut, mm -hmm. with cumin seeds, mm -hmm. and jaggery. So, it's alabale time now. It is also called as functional food. Coconut is functional food. It has a lot of nutrient values in it. That is why it is quick energy. It helps the ingredient of coconut. So, this pancake is called coconut stuff. And it is looking really delicious. And this alibeli is called honey. Honey is called honey. Because honey is called in our body. Especially in our skin glow. It's really good. This Yunani and Ayurvedic medicine is used in the same ingredient. Honey. So it's time for alibeli and honey. Mmm. Beautiful. Chef, it's Beautiful. So friends, in the food segment, we have caldo verde and chicken vindalu preparations. It's time for me to finish all these dishes. But till we see you next time, take care and have a great evening.